Hello everyone, my name is Fu Yu. I'm a children's heart doctor at Older Hay. It's my great pleasure to share with you our experience in applying immersive technology in daily practice. Our strategy places a child and family in the center of care. We also um, looked after our staff and maintaining professional development throughout their career. Hello everyone, it's my great pleasure to be part of this conference. I'm Fu Yung, I'm a children's heart doctor at Older Hay. Today I'm sharing our experience with you on the journey of... Hello everyone, my name is Phil Yung. I'm a children's house doctor at Older Hay. It's my great pleasure to share with you our experience in using immersive technology in daily practice. Our strategy places the child and the family in the center of care. We also have looked after our staff at maintaining professional development throughout their career. Immersive technology is a good medium to help us achieve these objectives altogether. First, it helped break down geographic barriers. During the pandemic, um, it was very difficult for doctors to deliver care in such a catchment area. Older Hay serves the Northwest, North Wales, the Isle of Man, and it was a big challenge for us at the time. Hello everyone, my name is Phil Ewing. I'm a children's host doctor at Older Hay Children's Hospital. It's my great pleasure to share with you our experience in using immersive technology in healthcare. Our strategy places the child and the family in the center of care. We also maintain our staff with professional development throughout their career. Immersive technology help us achieve these goals. And throughout this whole journey, we continue to evaluate the effectiveness to ensure that our investment will benefit all domains. Geographic challenges is an area for any healthcare system. Inequalities can sometimes result in postcode differences. And um, this particular example is evident during the pandemic where we have to deliver healthcare in such a new way. Immersive tech help us communicate with each other across barrier. This example shows that I was evaluating a sick child in intensive care units whilst communicating with my colleague to advise on the appropriate treatment. Immersive technology also helps surgeons uh, with the relief of the pressure before the operation. The surgeon, in this case, he and my colleague, Mr. Rafael Guerrero, was able to visualize the heart structure and rehearse the procedure, just the actual, actually before cutting up the patient. And um, should there be any abnormalities or unforeseeable diagnoses, we were able to discuss with each other and uh, drawing help from colleagues outside the meeting room with the help of immersive technology. Such technology also enables interventional colleagues, these are the doctors who do keyhole procedures, visualize the anatomy and have the ability to simulate the procedure based on patient's real data sets. And this yields a great deal of um, correlation and um, success of the procedure. Complex anatomy in this case is a very unusual aneurysm in the uh, pulmonary artery. You can see that uh, dilated big structure where the um, bubble is going in. So my colleagues was able to inspect um, and understand the anatomy uh, in a way that never been done before. This is um, akin to uh, 3D printing. However, there's no physical print of this and um, the perception is um, you don't have to um, cut the print open, uh, but uh, having the full ability to understand the anatomy and rehearse in this case, 
uh, placing a, a stent into the uh, affected structure, as well as doing some relevant measurements. Complex anatomy, uh, such as a vascular ring, uh, can also be inspected in greater details using immersive tech. In this case, the images were segmented and color coded in such a way that makes it very easy for uh, the surgeons uh, to understand. These tools are great for um, teaching um, uh, the novice as well, particularly uh, in some cases where uh, such abnormalities are quite rare, that uh, sometimes uh, results in such a long time for them to encounter something similar. So one can actually inspect and differentiate between different structures and understand the relationship between uh, why uh, such symptom develops and it becomes evident with immersive technology. We're able to um, help uh, other specialties, uh, doctors uh, such as neurosurgeons um, or tumor doctors visualize uh, the structures and understand the anatomy in a similar way. Um, the example to the left of the panel shows that this child has some um, kidney tumor. Um, in this case, it's color coded as yellow. And one can see that um, the surgeon uh, needs to visualize the structure and manipulate it so that um, uh, resection can be planned to maximize the amount of tissue which can be salvaged. Education is a big aspect um, where immersive technology is going to prosper, probably uh, not far in the future. Uh, with our partners um, in JoinXR, Velikus, or GigXR, these are uh, endorsed by Microsoft. Um, mainstream vendors at um, developing applications. Now, um, here that shows example of um, uh, a module delivered by Velikus uh, when the doctor was practicing uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation known as CPR. Uh, so these modules um, help with the interaction of a mannequins uh, and you can actually perform um, chest compression as well as rescue breath appropriately. In this case, immersive technology helps um, assess and the, uh, the uh, effectiveness of the procedure uh, and help the uh, trainee uh, gain uh, good techniques with the help of the guidance inside the, uh, the HoloLens. Example on the right shows a clinical scenarios mm. that are very realistic, I have to say, as coming from a pure doctor. You can then actually um, enable uh, students or junior doctors to see a scenarios that sometimes they might not have seen until real life and access them appropriately. As you can see, that's quite dramatic. And um, not only that um, you can use it for education, but you can train doctors from anywhere in the world. In this case, uh, we uh, uh, were able to collaborate with University of Michigan and Imperial at uh, uh, performing an international grand round. Um, so this is uh, participated by multiple uh, doctor specialists in um, many centers, um, endorsed by Microsoft and um, the Holland Medicine Association, uh, which I'm a founding member of. As you can see that example uh, shows that uh, different specialists can be in the same room in the virtual world um, and uh, have the ability to interact and, and, and learn about the anatomy in greater details. And you can see how smooth it is at interacting with each other. So the surgeon were um, shown of the uh, different chambers of the hearts and how to reroute certain uh, compartments from one to the other. Another example I like to show is um, uh, another uh, a story of uh, helping with the patient journey. So um, this um, shows example of uh, Jill, our specialist nurse, um, who does the virtual hospital tour for the parents. In this case, um, you can actually see them in the visual field. And when Jill's um, eyes, uh, they were coming from afar and it, before the, uh, the pandemic, um, they are offered opportunities to come to the hospital to see the site because these children, uh, when they're born, they're taken away for emergent treatments 
and that causes a lot of stress and anxiety uh, when they're separated from the parents. And such activities enable the parents to actually visualize the place where the child is transferred to and faces some stressful um, environment, things like when the child is taken to the operating theater. At least with this experience, uh, they can then know where the child is exactly taken to. They can navigate uh, uh, in a completely new environment, such as uh, a brand new hospital where they've never been. Um, and also they need uh, to talk to someone friendly at the other line, in this case, Jill. So we pioneered this um, uh, plot during the pandemic. And currently this has taken over the uh, clinical service uh, as such that face-to-face -face is no longer opted by the parents, this by being offered uh, now that restriction has been lifted. So we have parents coming from all of the places and uh, over the past um, uh, 18 months, we have uh, delivered over 100 tours. Um, and you can see that the, the average distance that travels is between, um, uh, it's kind of closer to 20 miles with the majority living within the distance of 25 miles uh, and minority over a quarter actually uh, living further away from that. And the amount of uh, time and uh, carbon footprint saved uh, with such activity is, um, is incredible. And this is probably why it's, it has um, um, been opted uh, by the parents uh, against the face-to-face uh, -face components. And the feedback is continuously um, good. 100% uh, of the patients uh, said that it matched their expectation, if not exceeded, and it served the purpose of reassuring them and giving them enough information as when they need it. And to complete the journey of our patient care, Immersive technology is also applied to educating uh, adolescents about their condition so that they take more um, responsibility towards the care of themselves. This example shows a patient uh, being educated about his heart condition and uh, we have um, the heart model inside the um, visual field of the HoloLens and the child was able to interact with that. This raises um, the increases the awareness both the child and uh, and transfer the responsibility from the parents to the child, and as consequently um, the um, uh, we we aim to um, to have children who can then actually take better care of themselves because they understand it more and take more ownership of the health problems, and this uh, carries a great advantage of um, uh, the children being transferred from. Um, the children to adult hospital um, as now they're no longer um, supported as much by their parents. And that's um, just a quick summary of, um, of our experience within the last um, 18 months or so. Uh, and thank you for the opportunity. And if you have any further questions, uh, please uh, follow my um, contact details. I'm more than happy to take um, and, uh, and resolve um, in the future. Thank you very much.